Hello and guten Tag. My name is Max, this is Make and Modify and this is my Cyberdeck project. For those who are a bit impatient, I added some timestamps. For the rest, have fun. First of all, I'm well aware that Zach Friedman recently did a video on his Cyberdeck and it's great, but my deck is completely different. And that's the beauty of cyberdecks. Almost all of them are mobile computers, but everyone can build it exactly to their likings. It's a bit like cosplay, but without actually mimicking something that someone else just dreamed up. It's your story. You define the look, the interface and the setting of your deck. My inspiration came actually from a box I found in the dumpster. It was this box. It kept laying around on my desk and waiting for a project. Since I'm still heavily into mechanical keyboards, it came to me one day that it would be perfect for one half of a split keyboard. So I thought I might make a tactical keyboard out of it. So having only one half, I jumped on eBay and typed in what was written on the box. And sure enough, I found more. So I ordered myself two more, one as a backup. After they arrived, I opened them up and saw their original content. These were Vorratskästen, which translates to supply boxes. The supply inside was for a SEM25 desktop HF slash VHF transceiver, used by the German Bundeswehr, which is our army. It was used between the 60s and 80s. It mainly contained fuses and little light bulbs, but also some tools and light caps. The boxes themselves are made of roughly 4mm thick cast aluminum. The supplies inside were held in place by styrofoam and on top of the styrofoam was a really nice aluminum plate. I really like the look of this plate and I definitely want to reproduce it for my deck. And I also enjoyed the rigor use of German language in this box. If you're a fan of that too, I'll link you my unboxing of these boxes down in the description. Anyways, a while back I designed myself a small 6x5 split keyboard PCB. It's nothing fancy and still more of a prototype, but it fitted the box perfectly. So I designed a plate using some German markings and produced them. Well, how did I do that? I'll make an extra video on that topic, but yeah, that's the plate. After the plate was done, I designed some mounts, added the TRRS to connect the two halves together and a mini XLR jack on the left for USB and finally a small OLED screen on the right side of my keyboard. Since I'm still a big sucker for mechanical keyboards, I decided to use the only appropriate switch for this, which is Novel Keys Nolives. These are basically recolored cream switches, which I looped with some Crytox 205. Then I also made some cables, added some custom knobs and some beige XDAS and black DSA keycaps and was not happy with the look. I mean, the look was okay, but not great. So I did the next reasonable thing and bought an old typewriter. It was a Triumph Adler Gabriele 9009. First I brought it back to life by replacing a fuse, which was easy enough, and then I swapped the keycaps. Now the typewriter looked good, but the keyboard? Yeah, definitely better. At this point I could have been happy with it and called it a day. But somehow it started talking to me. You still have one box left, make me a cyber deck. Um, so yeah, I obeyed and started working on that. I already had a Pi 4 and a case, which I slightly modified to make more room for the 10,000 milliamp hour battery. For the power system, I ordered a Pi UPS Pack V3, which I actually can't recommend. I will replace it as soon as I found something affordable, which works better for my purpose. As a pointing device, I used a Speedlink USB multi-touch trackpad where I ripped apart the enclosure and added two different buttons. And for the screen, I added a 5-inch 800 by 480 IPS screen. 
It connects via DSi, so it does not block any USB or HDMI port. The only problem with DSi is the FPC flex cable, which is not very flexible. In fact, with enough patience and a steady hand and a sharp knife, you can slice them up and make them flexible that way. So that done, I spray painted it black and installed the cable. With the Pi inside a metal enclosure, Wi-Fi might suffer a bit. So I decided to add an external antenna. To add an external antenna to a Raspberry Pi, you will have to add a UFL connector first. There's actually a place on the Pi where you can add that, but uh, this is not an easy mod and I almost messed it up when jumping to the new port. So uh, do on your own risk. So now the deck is finally done, right? Wrong. One of the essential things about a cyber deck is its portability. I could have thrown it into an old ammunition box and be done, but uh, let's do it properly. So I went into FreeCAD, designed a case, printed it out, painted it. Um, now it's done? Yeah, actually yes. So let's roll that B-roll. So let's do a quick build up. So first of all, get my keyboard out of shot. And there it is. First thing to do is get off the cables, I guess. Um, clips, USB. And the other side. This is uh, for connecting the graphs. Fold up the antenna and get off the uh, retaining clip. Then get out the modules. This is the uh, uh, compute module. Get out this part and this part and then we're done with and then open them up. Um, as mentioned, this is aluminium, so sorry for the noise. So we have our left half, then the compute module, um, you can lay it flat or you can uh, rest it like that. And then our second half. It's not super quick, but um, yeah, it's solid. So now it's uh, built. Now add the cables, connect the two halves of the keyboard. And since this was meant as a keyboard first, the cable for the keyboard is a bit long at the moment, but yeah, just plug that in to the mini XLR port, mini XLR, and on the other side into the Cyberdeck. And then you're set up. Only thing left is to switch it on. Um, there's a switch down here. Yeah. And then it's coming on. Yeah, so now it's on. And the uh, trackpad is working, the touch screen is working, and the keyboard is also working. So I'll mount the camera on top and then we'll have a little typing demonstration. So here we are at the desk. Um, my microphone is right there, and yeah, the cursor works. 
and uh, also the touch screen works. And yeah, so let's start the typing demonstration. So that was the typing demonstration and what's left is to say thank you for watching. Just a quick word, I don't monetize my channel, but if you want to do me a favor, click the like button if you liked it, leave a comment on what I could do different or what your thoughts are on this project. And if you're really into my stuff, you can get subscribed. Anyways, I'll see you on the Cyberdeck Cafe Discord or on the grid. Goodbye.